tell us about all of the things that's going to be going on, uh, Regina. When people first get there, what are they going to experience? Tell us all about what you, what the experience is going to be like, and what do you want families and young people uh, and elders to walk away? And who should come to this event? Everyone should come. Families, especially families with teenagers, parents, teachers. If you work with teens, you work with youth. I don't want to put an age limit on it because it's appropriate for all ages because all ages are going through the subject matters that we're going to be talking about that day. We're going to have artists like uh, Cam Walker from Carrollton singing, Samuel Hudson, Worship Unlimited, Charisma, Fly, um, Eyes on High. They're all going to be performing as well as some youth from Mount Holly Church, youth from A Place of Refuge Church. We're going to have speakers. Pastor Baker is going to be speaking on setting the trend. Author Trent North is going to be speaking on recovering from past mistakes. Jamel Dorch from Tanner Behavioral Health is going to be talking about anger management for teens. Miss um, Emily Fowler from Carrollton High School is going to be talking about cyberbullying. And we're going to hear from Pastor Chase Holtzenbach is going to be talking about stop the hate between our teens. And Mr. Derek Bozeman is going to be talking to us about the power of parenthood. So it's all brought to you by EII Culture Arts for Youth. This is located in Villa Rica. Fly Girls Inc. of Douglasville and myself, Jean Ray Productions, we're going to end the day with the production of Where's the Village. I want everyone to walk away with a newfound drive to become part of the village that we need to raise our kids and keep them out of the streets and keep them out of jail and keep them from bullying each other to death. Uh, what inspired you to, to pull young people together, cross cultural lines, cross you know, age lines and a number of things. But we're using this play just to speak out and say, you know what, it's time for parents to wake up and teens to wake up and be able to talk to each other and bring back the village that it takes to raise our children and not leave our children out there all alone to decide what they need to do and make these decisions on their own because we can see that when teens are left to fend for themselves, some of the decisions that they're making are leaving us without teens and this is cutting in, into our future generation. So we want to put a stop to that. And going down the cast, uh, Tawana, what would you say, you know, as a cast mm -hmm. member, what, what, what would you say, why would you say it should be the reason people come out on Saturday before? Because of the message. When we look at, look at it, it's a lot of generational curses. Okay. And, that's, and we need to break those generational curses. I know my character, I react to my daughter because of the way my mother reacted to me. And I believe Candace's character is the same way. So all of the parents... And we're passing that on to our children. And, you know, really, we're, it's a form of bullying as well. And so as parents, we have to stop bullying our kids as well. Mm -hmm. And Candace, same thing for you. Why should people come out? Why would you want to see uh, a, a big crowd out there on Saturday? Before? Um, well, in addition to that, I, I would just say it's a great opportunity for a community to get together and just be with each other, be able to stand up together. Um, you know, I think that's a, a good part of the message, too, is to not be afraid to speak out, to lean on each other, and to ask each other for help, um, and just come get a good sense of community with us. And Jessica, you're the youngest of the crowd, and young people, what do you think they, what do you want young people in your age group to take away, teenagers to, to take away from this play, and why should they come? Well, personally, I know it's impacted myself and my family, and I think it's a good message for teens to, you know, not be able to be, like, not, don't be scared to talk to your parents or your teachers or adults in your community about stuff that you're going through because they will most likely be happy to help you and, you know, you, you always have people to lean on. I, it's the Village Youth Summit 2012. I will be there speaking. I'm excited about it and I want to thank Dr. Rouse and all of those who have supported and sponsored this great, great, uh, really, uh, not only just a play, but really a movement. And so we're excited about it and look forward to much greater work uh, coming out of Carrollton and coming out of Gina May Productions. Oh, Tyler Perry, look out. We coming out. We gunning for you. Uh, and we're going to remind you again. We'll call you. Uh, we'll call next week. Call us next week and we'll remind people again. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you for having us. All right, me. and have a safe trip back up to Carrollton. Thank we'll you. be back in a moment. It's Too Much Truth with Derek Bozeman on News and Talk 1380.